Now, there's another method, another approach to aligning your objects. And there's also something that I want to talk to you about called distributing, which really means spacing apart your objects. So let's take a, a look at this. I hope you still have some objects sitting on your page and just kind of throw them across your page, maybe something like this, just sort of haphazardly. And what I'll do here is I'll click and drag a bounding box around all of the objects here, of course, with my pick tool from the toolbox. And then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back up to the arrange menu, back down to that align and distribute submenu. And we know about all the commands here inside this submenu, right? You basically got an idea of how they all worked in the previous exercise, but we didn't look at this last fella here, align and distribute. So arrange, align and distribute, and then align and distribute again. Go ahead and choose that command. And you wind up inside this align and distribute dialog box, which I really like, by the way, because it's a very visual way to work. So what I can do here is I'm just going to kind of move my dialog box out of the way here a little bit so we can hopefully still kind of see the shapes there. Now what I have here is we have our align tab and then there's our distribute tab. And remember, distributing really is spacing. We'll talk about that in just a moment, but let's talk about this align tab first. So inside the align tab, we have top, we have center, we have bottom. So there's our vertical aligning. And then we have our horizontal aligning across the top here, left, center, and right. Let's say, for example, I wanted to line up the top edges of all of the objects. Well, what I would do is I would put a check mark there for top. And then what we have here is align objects to, and then we have the active objects. So in other words, the objects within our selection there. I'm going to go ahead and click on apply, and this is what I wind up with. So the top edges of all my objects, as you can see there, are all nice and lined up. Or what I could do is I could say, you know, all right, let's line up our vertical centers and our horizontal centers at the same time here. Active objects for that align objects to menu. Go ahead and click on apply and I wind up with something like this. Let me just get my dialog box out of the way. There we are, something like that. So now all of the centers are all nice and lined up, right? So that's pretty cool. And what I like about it is you can align vertically and horizontally at the same time. I could do rights and tops at the same time. Or I could do, oh, I don't know, say lefts and bottoms or something like that, right? So anyway, you get the idea. Now I'm going to go back to center and center for both the horizontal and the vertical. Align objects too. I'm going to say instead of active objects, I could say the edge of the page, the center of the page, the grid, or a specific point. So you've got lots of options here. You don't have to just align your shapes and objects to each other or relative to one another. You can align them to other items on your page, if that makes sense. So let's go center of page, for example, and I'll go ahead and click on apply. And of course, now my objects are all centered inside the dead center of my document, right? So there you go. Pretty cool stuff. Now, I'm really interested in showing you this distribute tab here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close out of this dialog box here. And as I say, distributing really is spacing. So let's see here. What I'll do is I'll take my objects and once again, I'll just sort of haphazardly sort of throw them down here onto my page. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just set this up kind of quickly here with you. I'm going to shrink these guys down a little bit and you know maybe what I'll do is I'll take this fella here and I'll duplicate him control D on your keyboard there to duplicate him and I'll just kind of turn him into more of a square shape maybe something like this this is the example I always give whenever I'm showing this you know when you see promotional posters or event posters or charity posters and they always have the sponsors logos down at the bottom of the poster usually the bottom edge of the poster well imagine these are all different corporate logos and logos are always different shapes and different sizes and all the rest of it right well here's what I want I want to not only space apart the logos but I want to line up their centers as well so they're nice and evenly spaced apart here so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click and drag a box around the entire group of shapes shapes there, back to arrange, back down to align and distribute, all the way down to align and distribute again, and then what I'll do here is I'll say, all right, line up their vertical centers, click on apply, there it is, so they're all nice and lined up there, their centers are anyway there, and then what I'll do is I'll flip over to distribute, and what we have here is all sorts of different spacing options, so we can space from the top, center, specific spacing, or bottom, now that's all vertical, or we have our horizontal spacing, or distributing left edges, centers, spacing, or right edges. Now, here's the thing, this might seem really complex if you've never used this before, let me try and help you out here. So we have all of our 
our logo is kind of laid out across the bottom of our fictitious poster, right? So I'm not worried about vertically spacing them. I'm horizontally spacing them, right? And I don't want to space them based on their left edges. So in other words, the left edge of this guy and the left edge of this yellow guy and so on. And I don't want to space them based on the right. I could try spacing them based on the center points of each object. So I'll click on apply here. And what that means is the distance from the center of the blue circle and the distance from the center of the yellow rectangle and so on and so on are all equal, right? That's great. But you can see that the space between the shapes is not equal. So in this situation, you'd probably want to use spacing and I'll go and click on apply. Now we have the exact same amount of space between each shape. Does that make sense? Again, this could be one of these things that you might want to, you know, pause the video and play around a little bit to make sure you really got it. But honestly, myself, I use spacing, either horizontal or vertical. I really don't mess around with the others personally. I don't have much use for the others. So anyway, I hope that simplifies it a little bit for you. Now, the other option that we have, distribute to, we have extent of selection. So in other words, all the objects inside your selection, or we can say the extent of the page, or in other words, in our example, take into account the entire width of the page. And if I click on apply here, what happens is it throws the first object right over to the left edge of the page. It takes the last object, throws it over onto the right edge of the page, and then it simply spaces them apart equally. It dumps them all into equidistant spacing across the page. I hope that makes sense. Once you're done, once you're happy, click on close, and that's all there is to it. To change up.